Growing up, we all had our favorite movie stars and celebrities, most of them around the same age as us. Some of them grew up to be successful TV stars and musicians, others, not so much. So in this video, we're going to be looking at 10 child stars who grew up too fast. Number 10. Emily Osmond Miley Cyrus rose to stardom because of her role as Hannah Montana on the TV series of the same name, but lesser known was her on-screen friend Lily Truscott, who was played by actress Emily Osmond. Emily, the younger sister of fellow child star Haley Joel Osment, was 14 when Hannah Montana first aired in 2006, and since her time on the show, she has gone on to make appearances in a number of other series, including Young and Hungry, Cleaners, and Mom. Osment has grown up to be a lovely young woman who, according to her Twitter feed, is apparently still figuring out how to be an adult. Number 9. Abigail Breslin Abigail Breslin has already accomplished a lot in her young life, and there seems to be no stopping her. Her most recent credits include the popular series Scream Queens, as well as Fear Inc. and Final Girl, but she has grown up in front of the cameras with some of her earlier roles including the 2002 M. Night Shyamalan film Signs, in which she played the role of Bo Hess, and the 2004 film Keen. She was also nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the 2007 film Little Miss Sunshine when she was just 11. Breslin has previously spoken about growing up in the industry, and in a 2015 interview with Entertainment Weekly, she commented on how she has her family to thank for ensuring that she stays normal. She said, My family has been really important in keeping me normal. Growing up, when I rapped on set and would go home, it was always a set-free zone. We couldn't talk about work, we just talked about real, normal life things. She's not just down to earth, but also very captivating. Number 8. The Sprouse Twins Dylan and Cole Sprouse played Zack and Cody Martin on Disney Channel's The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and that's where most people remember the twins from. However, their acting career started out even earlier, playing Ross's son Ben on Friends. After a brief break from acting to attend New York University, the Sprouse twins are back to acting in TV shows and films. Cole currently plays Jughead Jones on the CW's hit drama Riverdale, and also played a prominent role in the 2019 movie Five Feet Apart. Dylan returned to acting with 2017's indie Carte Blanche, and has appeared in two music videos, Camila Cabello's Consequences and Why Ghosts Think About You. He also opened the brewery All Wise Meadery with two business partners in 2018. And we know we're not the only ones who want to see the Sprouse Twins back in action. Number 7. Josh Peck Best known for his comedic timing, Josh Peck's childhood year starring in Drake and Josh helped him to earn a loyal fan following that has stuck with him ever since. As those who have paid attention to his life are aware, Peck was once a heavy, bubbly youngster, but now he has the movie star good looks while seemingly still retaining his kind spirit. Even though his recent roles aren't much to boast about, he hasn't just appeared on screen enough. The last we got to see him on screen was in the sitcom Grandfather. Peck is still quite shy as a person and doesn't appear in many interviews, so we don't really know when to expect another movie from him, but one thing is for sure. He sure has honed his acting skills over time, and he definitely has the movie star looks to go with it. Number 6. Bella Thorne Bella's first appearance on the big screen was at the age of six in the 2003 film Stuck on You, but her first major role was in the second season of Dirty Sexy Money, a big start for a little star. Ten years have passed since, and now all grown up, she looks absolutely stunning. She's starring in daring shows like Famous in Love and Scream, and even has four published books by the name of The Life of a Wannabe Mogul, Mental Disarray, Autumn Falls, Autumn's Kiss, and Autumn's Wish. Even though she seems to prefer the writer-influencer role more, it is no secret that fans are itching to see Thorne on their screens again. Number 5. Lindsay Lohan You probably first remember Lindsay Lohan in the dual role of Halle Parker and Annie James in the 1998 remake of The Parent Trap. After that film's success, she really hit it big in the early 2000s. In 2003, she starred alongside Jamie Lee Curtis in Freaky Friday, before starring in both Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen and the often quoted Mean Girls in 2004. In 2007, after a string of TV appearances and video shorts, she made her way back to film. That year, she starred in Chapter 27, Georgia Rule, and I Know Who Killed Me. Unfortunately, that year was also the first time the former child star was arrested for driving under the influence. With mandatory court appearances and house arrest to contend with, Lowen's career stalled. She spent the next few years partying until she decided she needed to grow up and move to London. 
She said it was the best thing she has ever done. After moving to Dubai and acting in the British comedy Sick Note, she opened a several beach club, strangely starred in a commercial for Lawyer.com, and announced a new MTV reality show. Clearly, she has been keeping busy. Unfortunately, in September of 2018, she made headlines for posting a disturbing Instagram Live video, in which she followed a refugee family around, urging them to allow their two sons to stay at her hotel, and subsequently got knocked down by a concerned mother. Needless to say, people have been worried about Lowen's mental health. Number 4. Raven Simone even though you probably know her from That's So Raven or from the tons of memes surrounding her role in the sitcom, Raven Simone starred in The Bill Cosby Show. She played Olivia Kendall in The Cosby Show from 1989 to 1992. She then went on to star in Dr. Doolittle and Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century. After rising to fame in That's So Raven on Disney Channel, Simone returned to the network in a spinoff called Raven's Home, which unfortunately didn't do too well. Simone left her gig as a co-host on The View to star and executive produce Raven's Home, which premiered in 2017. Number 3. Thomas Brody Sangster This name maybe doesn't ring a bell for you unless you're an avid Game of Thrones fan. Hint, hint. Now, you probably remember this guy for his performance in the really romantic Christmas film Love Actually. If not, then his roles Jojen Reed and Game of Thrones will definitely ring a bell. But he grew up so quickly, becoming a star in such cult films as Death of a Superhero and Nowhere Boy, in which he played Paul McCartney. That his name was the first that appeared in our mind when we set out to make this video. Even though his baby face still makes him look like he's in his early teens, Brody Sangster now stars in the hit show Queen's Gambit. Number 2. Zac Efron even though you probably know him from his dance numbers in High School Musical, Efron has been in the movie scene way before that. Before High School Musical, Zac Efron was a rather gawky child actor, starring in movies like Melinda's World and Miracle Run. Still, it is fair to say that in 2014, Efron finally shook off his Disney past by playing brawl-happy party animal Teddy Sanders in the not-safe-for-work comedy Neighbors, and was definitely hot with it. He, in fact, is one of the few grown-up child actors who have played their grittier, more adult roles so well that people have kind of forgotten that he was ever even a child star. Number 1. Daniel Radcliffe Ah, the boy who lived! More people know the character Harry Potter than Radcliffe. One of the few child actors who grew up with their role, Daniel played and portrayed Harry so well that the writer J.K. Rowling has said that if he were to ever refuse to play Harry Potter, she would stop including that character in the stories. But it seemed like the boy who lived would have rather been known as anything else in the world following the phenomenon that made him a household name. Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe ensured that by making his subsequent career path as winding and weird as possible, by starring in sweet rom-coms like What If and funky oddities like Horns. Perhaps the weirdest role in the young Brit's resume, however, is one of a flatulent corpse who is ridden like a jet ski by co-star Paul Dano and the imitable Swiss Army Man. Radcliffe also starred on the TV show Miracle Workers. And that is a wrap for 10 child stars who grew up too fast. Did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.